Well, another big story today, Nakima Levy Pounds, attorney, activist, and former Minneapolis NAACP president announced she's running for mayor of Minneapolis in 2017. She says her campaign will focus on racial disparities, unemployment, and the need of an overhaul of the criminal justice system. Levy Pound says she'll run as a Democrat, but she hasn't decided whether to seek the DFL's official endorsement. I have not yet decided whether I will seek the DFL endorsement. I have voted, uh, sorry, DFL consistently since I've been able to vote um, in the state of Minnesota. And um, a lot of us here have supported the DFL. The reality, though, is that there needs to be some changes within the DFL. Now, current Mayor Betsy Hodges says she will run again for re-election and plans to make a formal announcement later. It's likely that other candidates, of course, because we're so far out, will right. jump into the race as well. So today we ask supporters and critics, why Nakima? Why now? That I can help usher in the change that our city, our state, and our nation needs right now. Why Nakima? Why now? She's young. That's one. I mean, you see this gray hair? We're tired. We need the young people to come and step up. And I don't know Nakima very much, but what I've seen of her in the past years, so that she's had the personality, the fortitude, sort of like, like the, the clear vision to be able to speak honestly. I think now's the time for healing, and I think she can bring it. But I think if anyone's made for it, she is. Um, she's tough as nails. I want to see our police department cleaned up. But everyone we talk to doesn't like what Nakima Levy Pounds represents. One man told us off camera, Minneapolis has issues other than racial equity. He believes her focus is too narrow. Another who showed up at her news conference said he doesn't agree with anything she supports, but likes her idea of creating jobs in the city. And those who are Team Nakima admit this road to mayor won't be easy. I like Nakima. I like what Nakima has to say. But to get past trying to look like a Benetton commercial, it's going to take more than one person. It's going to take a coalition. Do you think her road will be difficult? Yeah, absolutely. I think it already has. I have a lot of faith in her. Yeah, that's why, I'm, that's why I'm here. Do you think she can fix all of the city's problems? No, I think that's the citizen's responsibility. But we have to have somebody who's willing to work with us. It's not just because she's black, not just because she's a woman. It's because she has something of substance to say. You got to bring something because we don't need nothing. So that's why Nakima. And some folks were critical of Nakima using today, the one year anniversary of the death of Jamar Clark, to announce her uh, run for mayor of Minneapolis. But she said she was very intentional. She picked November 15th. And we all know this was the time last year that really changed her career. She left her job at St. Thomas to fight for what she sees are injustices in our community. Well, on this one year anniversary marks the date that she truly believes uh, something happened in our community that proves that we need to change our community. So I can understand why she picked today is her day to do that. Very so. symbolic day, makes sense. Some folks on Twitter have been sounding off saying, no, that's wrong, but Clark's family was okay with it too. It's gonna be a long mayor's race though, if we're starting now. Oh yeah, and we can't <laughs> wait to see who else jumps into this race. It's gonna be interesting. All right, we'll be right back. All right.